Hello, children of the Most High Ever Loving and Living God. Welcome back to Marie Speaks God's Grace Bible Study. And while I'm in the middle of updating our website, Marie Speaks God's Grace, it's not live because we serve a living God. Hallelujah. Yes and amen. I figured, you know what? It's been a while since I've done a podcast and by a while, I think since one or two weeks ago. <laughs> so I figured, you know what? Why don't I just do a podcast while I am updating the website because, you know, two birds one stone or something yeah anyhow um this podcast i am gonna call <laughs> uh apparently i'm a racist so this stems back to someone calling me a racist and i was just kind of shocked and kind of taken back and the way i am if someone tells me like I did something to offend him I'm like oh my goodness I'm so sorry what did I do how can this be fixed because it's never my goal to offend someone or hurt someone or um make someone feel negative I cannot stand that with all that being said obviously I know I can't control anyone else's feelings so let me just tell you the whole situation and then I guess we'll try to break it down so I recently moved to San Antonio, Texas, where they make great picante sauce, apparently. I don't know. It was in commercial ones. And um, I was going on a bunch of hikes, and it was just so much fun. I'm trying to get used to living in the city. I am absolutely not a city girl. I'm not a country girl either. I found that out. I think I'm a small town girl. You know, like population less than 10,000 kind of girl. I like that, you know? Anyhow, so trying to get used to the city, I joined a bunch of different groups and I went on a hiking group. And during this hiking group, um, there were a group of individuals, which was so much fun, by the way. And some conversations I just wasn't going to participate in. So I had my headphones on I was listening to my track tapes catching up on some of the lessons that I've missed from the live broadcast from one of my rabbis that I'm studying with right or learning from and so one of the individuals mentioned a topic and I was like "Ooh, I like this topic and it was about the military so I was like "Ooh," you know and I was like the Marine Corps yeah and I was talking about that well, someone else mentioned something and I was like, well, if you, in my opinion, if you want to look good when you're older, you should join the military. And this was based off of them wanting to join the military. It wasn't like they're like, hey, I want to be an art teacher. And I'm like, no, don't be an art teacher. Join the military. They had mentioned they wanted to join the military. They mentioned they were considering joining the Marines, but they might join the Air Force. And I was like, join the military, because if you join the Marines, go to the Marines first. Then you only have to go to one book camp, you know, and I start doing my whole little I love the Marine Corps spiel, which is true. If you join the Marines, you only have to go to one boot camp. You don't have to go to five different boot camps. I met women in my boot camp. There was one individual I remember in particular. Um, she had been in every branch of the military and finally joined the Marines. That means she went to like three or four boot camps. Why do that to yourself, girl? No. Go to the Marines first and then after that, all you have to do is go through everyone else and just put on their uniform, do their testing, you're done. At least that's my understanding. I don't know. I've never served in any other branch. But I know this for sure. You don't have to go to another boot camp if you go through Marine boot camp. Hoorah. So this is what I was saying. And this individual says, I don't think she necessarily needs to join the Marines to look good um, when she's older. I look good. And I was like, you do look good. And um, I didn't know till later that this woman is only a couple years older than me. But my response was, yes, you do look good. You know why you look good? And this individual goes, don't be racist. Don't tell me it's because I'm black and black don't crack and X, Y, and Z. And I was just like, oh my goodness. I was like, I wasn't even going to say that, which I wasn't. Anyone who knows me 
knows I am mixed. We got a little bit of everything in my family, which I really, really love. And I've never grown up, um, I don't know, wanting to separate people by their race. I truly was brought up separate people by um, their deeds. Are they doing evil things, doing positive things? Do they love God? Do they not love God? Are they a good human being based off the word of God? That's how I was brought up. My family hated racism, hated racism. And when I mean they hated racism, do not come around them saying something racist because that was not going to happen. It was not going to fly, right? Anyways, so I'm talking with this woman and I was like, absolutely not. I wasn't even going to say that. I go, what I was going to say is, you came from a greater generation. Your generation, which is 10 years before me, was raised with different music, different culture. Um, and depending on the location, they had a different foundation of their structure. Whereas, look at the 30-year-olds today. Now look at the 20-year-olds today. Now look at the teenagers today. They're much different than the 20, 30-year-olds and 30 uh, teenagers that were going on in your your time when you were young right and she's like yes I go yes we listen to different music and eat different fruits I go and that's why the generations now today I'm sorry they don't look as fit and in shape as older generations and my generation sure didn't look as fit and in shape as the generations before me and then she finally understood. She was like, oh, okay, I can see what you're saying. I go, exactly. I go, I don't think it has anything to do with your race. But just so we're clear, I think you're beautiful, which I do think she's beautiful. Um, if I could describe her, ooh, let's describe her. Ooh, she had a beautiful, beautiful, um, let me see. I, anyone who's seen a picture of me, I would say I am... I don't know, cafe color, you know, I don't know, tan, definitely. I am, um, I don't know, definitely brown. <laughs> um, she was a couple of shades darker. And for the record, she was beautiful. She was really, really beautiful. She had a brightness to her skin. And I told her, I go, you must love God. And now I didn't know what religion she was. And I honestly personally don't care. But to me, someone who is righteous before God, and it doesn't matter what religion you are in my eyes, but if God loves you, he shows it through your eyes and through your skin, like you radiate his beautiful spirit, even if you don't fully know him, right? And I was communicating that to her, like, I feel like you have a good spirit and you're a good godly woman and that's why you're beautiful that's what makes you beautiful and people who don't know this is what makes you beautiful they're like they're trying to figure out what it is and they default to whatever they've been taught before so the first thing they thought to say was probably something comical they probably didn't mean it disrespectfully and they said black don't crack <laughs> right which is a funny saying and obviously not true, but it's just like one of those things that they say, you know, um, or people say. Anyhow, I was kind of surprised that she called me a racist. And I was like, what is it with people that want to default to thinking people are racist? But I get where she's coming from, especially since that whole BLM debacle. I hate that group. That is a cult group. They are demonic um, Marxist ideology, pagan Hellenism. They are disgusting. The Lord rebuke them in Hashem's glorious name. Anyhow, um, I get, because ever since that whole group came out, I did not want to study black history. I did not want to hear about black history. In fact, I was turned off about it. It made me not want to study anything. And at that time, I had started researching my um, ancestry, I think I shared this with others and I wanted to go and I was going to start with, um, my fam, my dad's side, because I think his side is really interesting. And, but that's when all that BLM stuff was coming out. And I was like, I don't even want to look at it. Cause I'm going to be looking at it with perverted eyes because I'm pissed off, <laughs> you know, and that's not a good time to study something. You should study something with an open heart. 
Anyhow, so I didn't study my side, my dad's side of the history because I was just so annoyed, but I get it because it turned me off to it because I cannot stand when others like to lump people together based off of their race. Like I can't even tell you when I was looking for a synagogue, there was some people who were like, oh, I hear a Hispanic sound to your voice you must feel comfortable with the Sephardic or Mexican Jews. Let me direct you over there. And to me, that's ridiculous because I'm Marie, child of the ever-loving living God. Amen. I'll go, I feel comfortable anywhere I go because wherever I go, I am Marie, child of the living God. When I was on the soccer field, I was Marie, child of the living God. When I was working the Marines, I was Marie, child of the living God. Not very observant, but you know, I was I was in and out of observance, you know, just questioning stuff. And then it doesn't matter where you're a supermarket, wherever you go, you are you. You know what I mean? I don't need others who quote unquote look like me or quote unquote sound something like me to feel comfortable. That isn't my head thoughts, you know, but I do know that is some others' head thoughts. To me, Lumping people in a group based off their skin color or based off their uh, uh, language, that's racist. Another example, I was at a football practice kind of thing a couple of years ago. And these women were showing a video of this individual and she was... Um, doing some kind of dance and then it broke out into what I believe was a serpent dance, which is Kundalini, which I was like, no, I can't see this. And then one of the women goes, oh, that is just ungodly. And then I was like, well, then why are you watching it? <laughs> Anyhow, um, I asked a question because I recognized it as serpent dance, which is witchcraft and sorcery, Kundalini, the false Holy Spirit rebuke that, you know, that's that whole um, demonic ideology when they say holy spirit that's ashtarism you know um cursed be all that so i asked what country is she from now i meant what country is she from like where what continent what country what city what state and they go oh she's black and i was like okay i see that she has dark skin but just because someone has dark skin doesn't mean they're black which most americans say african-american and so i was like okay fine. What kind of black is she? And they looked at me like I had asked the worst question in the whole world. I don't think it's wrong of me to not think that because someone has dark skin that they are quote unquote African American or African descent. I don't believe that. In fact, let me look at a map. Dark skin people map. I don't know. I don't know how to search for something like that. But anyhow, so I don't think that just because someone has dark skin, they are just straight up from Africa, okay? There's a lot of different individuals from different countries and different continents, and they have dark skin. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean, anyhow. So they were apparently offended. And from that, they thought I was a racist because I asked what country she was from. And I don't believe all black people are from Africa. Uh, <laughs> in fact, I watched the interesting documentary about something about a couple of thousand years ago or whatever, the Earth a polar axis switched or something like that. And what used to be the North Pole was the South Pole or in what used to be the West Coast was North and, and South and all these things. And I was just like, oh, that's crazy. And I thought that was interesting because then it talked about the whole migration thing and that the oceans were lower and there were all these land bridges. And that's how come there was a lot of individuals who were just like different quote unquote cultures because it used to be like metropolis people everywhere just, just traveling and trading, right? So this is my mindset when I'm asking, but from them, because I said, well, what kind of black, since you're going to put her in the black category, apparently that was racist. I don't know these things. 
So, and I don't see that way. My point is this. Sometimes when people choose to have altered vision goggles, they see the world through that vision. If they see the world in, as in categories of people based off their skin color, everyone with brown skin is whatever race they think it is. You know what I mean? And they just lump all Hispanics together as Mexican. Well, not everyone that is quote unquote Hispanic is Mexican. We, we should know that. Not everyone with dark skin is black straight out of Africa. We should know this. You know, not everyone with beautiful, pearly, um, light skin is white. And I don't know, f from wherever that, I don't know. You know what I mean? Because I just don't think that way. So I don't even know what examples to give. But it was just, it's frustrating to me when other people want to apply their definition of whatever it is and put it onto others as, it's it, as if it's their label. Like, and these are adults doing this. If you don't want others putting their label onto you, why put your label onto someone else? You know what I mean? To me, that's no more different than those weirdos that are pretending to be women wanting to call actual biological women cis, cis women. No, I'm a woman. There is no such thing as a cis woman. You can keep your cis woman to yourself. You know what I mean? You freak. <laughs> or they're calling them cis I don't know. I don't, it's just weird. I don't accept labels. I can't stand nicknames. I can't stand anyone trying to push their pagan, their false religion, their lifestyle onto me. No, I am Marie. I'm socially awkward. I like to read books. My favorite thing to do is sit down outside and study God. That's what I want to do. You know what I mean? And it gets to the point where it's like, sometimes I'm so annoyed, I don't even want to speak to people because it's like, they act rude. Some of them, not all of them, obviously, but some people, they just act rude and then they wonder why you don't want to speak to them or you don't want to go around them or they say something disrespectful. And it's like, if you say something back, no, you're the problem, not the fact that they were rude and disrespectful to you to begin with. Like calling someone, someone a racist, that's a really disgusting thing to call someone, especially if it's completely and utterly not true. Anyhow, if I could say anything for this random uh, podcast today, I pray that each and every one of us, you know, do our best to not put our hurts, our wounds, our angers, our frustrations onto someone else because they don't deserve it. You know, they've done nothing to earn contentment or to, you know, just being indignant towards someone that isn't of God. We need to learn to take accountability. If something is bothering us, then deal with the source of whoever initially bothered us, whoever initially disrespected us, who made us feel uncomfortable. Choosing to take your anger out on frustration on someone else and because you think they're not going to say something back or you think you're in a position of power and authority to do so is not anything of God. It just creates more hurt and more frustration out there in the world. And with everything going on right now, that's the last thing we need. And with everything going on, so to speak, I mean, someone thinking I'm a racist, is that really like the biggest thing going on right now? No, but it's still like kind of hurt. I was like, dang girl, like that. <laughs> I'm not a racist, but she doesn't know everything I'm going through. She doesn't know like, Everything that's frustrating me or or that I went on a hike just to relieve stress. And now here I am getting more stress from a stranger. You see what I mean? Like no one ever knows what someone else is going through. That's my point. Deal with your own stuff in your in, within yourself and don't be putting it out to other people. And with that, I close that I guess I'm a racist because... <laughs> Because I think, I don't know. 
people come from their country, not from their skin color. Ultimately, we come from God, right? All right. Well, take care. I hope others enjoy this short, random broadcast. Take care and God bless.